So you got a fancy new camera, and you're all ready to film some stuff. Except you go outside ready to shoot, and everything's too bright. You lower your aperture, raise your shutter speed, but something's still not right. You want to get the same look that you see in the movies, and you wonder what you're doing wrong. Chances are you had the right idea, but we're missing one of these. This is a neutral density filter, and it's about to become your new best friend. ND filters, as they're normally called, cut the amount of light that reaches your camera. Think of them as sunglasses for your lens. There are different types of ND filters, but the one I'm going over today are circular filters. These filters screw right onto the front of your lens and cut the amount of light reaching your camera sensor by reducing the amount of light coming through your lens. They already come in a variety of sizes, strengths, and prices, so you'll always be able to find one that's right for your needs and budget. When out shopping for them, the higher the number, the less light it lets through. If you're unsure of the strength you need, they also sell variable strength ND filters that allow you to dial in the specific strength you need. These are especially useful if you are somewhere where the light conditions often change. Remember that the size of the filter you need depends on the size of the front of your lens. Some things to be aware about though are that obviously, since you are cutting the light reaching your camera, you shouldn't use these in low light situations. Also pay attention to the quality of the filter you purchase. A good rule of thumb is glass is always better than plastic, as plastic can cause color issues or a loss in sharpness. You spent hundreds of dollars on your lens, don't ruin your investment trying to save a couple bucks on a cheapo filter. If you're interested in learning more about cameras, filters, or their effects, then subscribe to this channel as I have a few videos coming out that dive more into how to shoot video. If you liked this video, please give it a thumbs up, and if you really liked it, then subscribe as I post new content every week. If you're looking for something else to watch, check out my latest video where I go over practical lights and why you should learn about them. Well, that's all for this one. Happy shooting, and I'll catch you guys in the next one. Peace.